Hi, my name is Robert de Bok, and today I'd like to show you how infrastructure as code works. And we've got a couple of components here. Uh, we've got an editor here, uh, which can use Git to modify files and save them. And then we're going to push stuff to GitHub. Come back here in a bit. We're going to deploy stuff using Terraform Cloud. And eventually we're going to build a machine here. There's no machine now, should be one in a moment. Uh, let's have a look. So I'll briefly go over this code. This is not a Terraform course. It's more a conceptual explanation of infrastructure as code. But there is a bit of code and it's sort of readable. Uh, there's a couple of resources, four, one, two, three, four. One is a... Uh, an SSH key, so I can log into the machine. Another one is a script that installs a web server on the machine. One resource to create the machine. And eventually sort of a folder or a project where this machine will end up in. Not required, but makes it a bit more easy to look up machines and manage machines. So we have no machines currently. Nothing's running. This code is ready. Uh, we should try to apply it. Code is here on Git as well. Uh, uh, once the machine is running, we'll do a modification. See how that works. And we can probably tell uh, Terraform Cloud to build the machines. Let's go. View plan. So what this does is it will pick up the code from GitHub. It will make a plan. That's what it's doing now. It takes 20 seconds, 10 seconds or so. It will show that plan uh, and I can confirm that plan. So if I'm happy with it, if I'm satisfied with what it would like to make or delete, then I can, uh, can apply that. Yeah, this looks good. I indeed expect three resources. The key, the machine, what else did we build? And that project, that folder. Yeah, I'm happy. Looks good to me. Confirm. Now what, uh, what's going to happen is that Terraform Cloud will make these machines on DigitalOcean. That takes about 30, 40 seconds or so. DigitalOcean is quite quick. It's also a bit simple, but it's ideal for these kind of uh, presentations. It will show me the IP of the machine it's created. That's part of that code. I can also look up that IP, of course, on DigitalOcean itself. But let's just see what the outcome of this is and try to see if a web server is indeed running. Yeah, so we've got an IP. Copy it. We should be able to see that same machine with the same IP here, of course. Yeah, I guess that's the same machine. The single gigabytes are not super big. And there is a web page that, uh, that's the IP. I just did I get that one? No, copied something else. Don't know what. Let's try again. Yeah, that's the one. Still not up, so probably it's still uh, spinning up. Give it a few more seconds. And there it is. So it took a minute or so to create this machine. This is a very simple one. There's actually there's just this default page, but of course you can expand it with a specific website or so. Typically you'd use Ansible for that, but it can be anything. Um, so machine is running. I'm happy with it, but let's modify it a bit. So in this case, I've created a small one gigabyte machine that which is indeed very small. Let's make it a bit bigger, medium. By the way, scaling up is possible, scaling down is not possible. Uh, so medium, a bit bigger. Commit and push. Oh. Once again, commit, uh, where is it? And push. And now it should be on GitHub. Let's have a look. This file changed a bit bigger a couple of seconds ago. That's correct. So Terraform Cloud should have woken up by now yes a bit bigger and it's currently planning 
the plan is quite quick so if you're not quick enough it's already done it and it says need confirmation or something like that needs confirmation so terraform is telling me here i would like to change the size from one to two gigabytes so not a big change and not very destructive all in place so that looks good i i want this yes looks good to me again confirm uh so on yeah this will take a minute or so so let's have a look here so that machine will be expanded from one gigabyte to two it's still one now it's going to be two in a bit so it should be nearly ready it typically takes a bit over a minute to expand which is weird that's a bit longer than creating a new machine yeah there it is it should have uh, received the same ip or no change actually let's verify that copy and yeah i see yeah it's indeed that same ip so that machine was never down basically it's here and it's up and it's a bit bigger let's confirm that reload We'll set one and should be two now. Yeah, it's two, two gigabytes. Disk has increased, and that's why you cannot go back to a smaller size. Um, so what you've seen now is some Terraform code. Change it, push it to Git, GitHub in this case. Terraform Cloud wakes up, sees the change, does a plan, and waits for a person to say, yeah, that looks good. And eventually you get that change or machine or whatever you code it, uh, which results in probably some application. Thanks for watching. See you next time.